Okay, so here's the first bit of the uh, the Ocacuba bed cleared. I'm going to do the, the bit at the back there in a few days' time. Uh, I don't want to take all of them out because there's bloody loads of them. I've got nowhere to store them. So, just crop these. I'm going to clean them up, get them on eBay, and then I'm uh, going to put some of, some of our homemade compost in this bed and uh, get some overwintering garlic in for next year. So... That's not a bad little hole there. I'd say there's probably probably about a kilo and probably say half a kilo in uh, in the back bit of the bed. Again, a very easy crop to grow. Start them off indoors until the si uh, last signs of frost and then put them outside either in large containers, raised beds, give them plenty of soil room. Let them grow all year. Uh, you can use the leaves in salads and then you crop the tubers about a week to ten days after first frost and uh, you get quite a reasonable crop off them they're, um, they're blight resistant that's because they're not a potato even though they're quite similar and uh, it's quite an interesting thing to grow really so uh, there you have it and I'll be listing these on eBay shortly if anybody's interested in buying them I won't be selling them expensive as some sellers do because I want to encourage people to grow them so uh, thanks for watching We'll come back to you soon.